that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. Today's video is another requested one, but before I go any further, I want to let you guys know that I take on requests based on the supplies available. So if I haven't worked on any of your requests yet, it could be because I don't have the supplies at hand. So please bear with me. From the picture that was sent to me, I could tell that this was gotten from Pinterest. Now I'm going to be starting off with terrarium planters that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'll be using 12 for this project and I'm going to be removing this part here because I won't be needing it. I'll be adding some fainted lines on the inside. And I'm going to do that by cutting thin strips from a poster board that I'll be putting inside the terrarium planters to give me a fainted line effect while spray painting the inside with a mirror spray paint. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now I'm going to be putting the strips inside and holding them down with tape. Now you don't have to do this, but I personally would prefer to see nice painted lines inside. This is the shape that I want to see inside when I'm done with the spray painting and I'll be using a mirror spray paint. To see the mirror effect, the spray painting should be done on the inside. I'll be doing this for all the planters. And remember, the spray painting should be done on the inside. I took it outside and then I started spray painting. Now I'm doing this lightly and not covering the whole thing because I would like to give it a faded mirror effect. After 30 minutes, I took off the papers inside. I can see the faded mirror effect and also the faint lines. This is the table that I'm going to be using and it's a foldable table. And I've had this for a while now, but I've used it just once. So because of that, I just figured, why not just use it for the project? It is perfect for outdoors and I had to go back to Walmart to figure out where I can find the same table and take a picture to show you guys what it's used for. You can also increase the height of the table. I'm going to measure how wide the hole that I'm going to be making on the planters would be. Now, because the plastic is hard, I'm going to be making all the holes on all the planters with a soldering iron.
I spray painted the legs of the table silver and then I started stacking up the planters inside the rods. As this came down here, it wasn't holding well. So I had to use tape around the lower part to make sure that the ball fits in a snug way. When I was sure that it was okay, I then glued it down. After that, I continued adding the other planters. As I was about to add the third one to glue it on, I realized that this is too short. So I had to bring it up just a little and just enough to make sure that the legs are going to be outside because I want the weight of the table to be on the legs and not on the planters. I'll do this for all four legs and give it a side. The next thing I'll do is take these wooden boards that have been cut to size and attach them to the table. I now have four squared corners because of the boards. I got this hot pink contact paper online and I will leave a link for it down in the description box below. Because the wood has some imperfections, I'll be attaching this to a poster board first before then attaching it to the wood. I forgot to mention that I removed this part here to keep the side of the table flushed. Now for the top, I'll be using this photo frames that I got from Walmart and I'm going to be using just the acrylic sheet that's on top. I took it out and then I cut them to size and placed them on top of the table. As you can see, the top of the table is rough. And then after placing the acrylic sheet on top of it, because the sheets are transparent, you can still see the rough lines on the table. So what I did was to take all the acrylic sheets out and spray paint just one side of them black, leaving the opposite side looking glossy and shiny. I've used this technique before a lot of times on real glass for some of my DIYs, but this time around, because I couldn't find glass that was going to cover the table the way I wanted it to, I had to use acrylic sheets. And it still works. No one is going to know that they are acrylic sheets and not glass. This type of table is perfect for those open and bare spaces that you may have in your home or some corners that need some little decor. You can place it there and have beautiful decor items placed on top. 
There are one or two things that I'd like to add. So in place of the terrarium planters, you can use large Christmas ornament balls. And in place of the contact paper, you can just use hot pink glossy spray paint on the planks. If you're gonna use an old buffet table like I did, you can increase the height. I love pink, but this table just made me fall in love with it all over again. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.